All right, hi. I keep seeing people asking how to trim a rat's nails. And a lot of people say don't, don't try to do it because they have such um, tiny little nails, it's uh, easy to hit the quick. And when they bleed, when um, a quick bleeds in general, it tends to bleed for a while. So lots of people say don't do it. Uh, but if you have steady hands and a calm rat and are fairly confident, you can do it. Um, so I use these little, just regular human nail clippers. A lot of people will do baby nail clippers or nail clippers with a magnifying glass, and those are great too. You can use whatever you're most comfortable with. Uh, so today I'll be trimming Aphrodite's nails. She's probably my calmest girl. She's, um, she's going to be really good for us today, I hope. So I'll try to go really close to the camera. What I do is I kind of cup them like this, and then hold the paw like this. And then just get the very tip of the nail. If you can see pink, don't cut it. Cutting pink is bad. It'll bleed. So I'll try to go nice and close so you can kind of see what I'm doing with this other nail. It's a bit harder to do it close because they like being supported, but I'll try to get as close as I can. And if they start to squirm, just kind of give them a minute. All right. There's her little nails, and just, just get the very, very tip. Just like that. And then for the back nails, I do it very similar. I cup their whole body in my hand, press them against my body. Sometimes I try to cover their face with my wrist. again, just get the tiny, white, sharp tip. You don't need to trim them very long, or very much. And that further, furthest inside claw, if it grows too long, it sometimes curls in. So be extra diligent with that one and make sure to get it correctly. And if you, if you see them start to pull away, you can just let them and give them a minute to relax. There we go, all done. Or if you hear them squeak, stop applying pressure. So as you can see, that was pretty easy because she's fairly used to it and she's a good calm girl. With a squirmy rat, you might need a lot of breaks. You might need to just do one nail at a time and then do try again the next day or, or give them a couple hours break um, and don't stress them the last thing you want to do is injure one of them and if you are too nervous to do it then you don't have to it's just something that i find is nice because of course i react when they scratch me there you go hope this was informative